Is there a tie-in here with, with Hyperloop? Could you apply these tunnels to use for this Hyperloop idea you had, you released a few years ago? Yeah, so, um, you know, we've been sort of puttering around with the Hyperloop stuff for, um, for a while. We, we built a Hyperloop test track adjacent to SpaceX just for a student competition uh, to encourage innovative ideas in transport. Um, it actually ends up being the, uh, the, the biggest um, vacuum chamber in the world after the Large Hadron Collider uh, by, by volume. So, um, so, so it, it, was, it was sort of quite, quite fun to do that, um, but it was kind of a hobby thing. And, and then um, we, we think we might, so we developed a little pusher car to push the, 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 the student pods, um, but we're going to try seeing how fast we can make the, the pusher go if it's not pushing something. Huh. So, I mean, like, so cautiously optimistic we'll be able to be faster than a uh, than the, than the world's fastest bullet train, even in, in a 0.8 mile stretch. Whoa! Um, Good break. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's yeah, it's either going <laughs> to smash into tiny pieces or. But you can you can go picture you can picture then a hyperloop in a tunnel, yes. running quite quite long distances. Exactly. So. So in looking at tunneling technology, it turns out that in order to make a tunnel, you have to, uh, in order to seal against the water table, uh, you've got to typically design a tunnel wall to be uh, a good to about five or six atmospheres. 